Hey there, it's Sue Thomas here, the Sugar Free Coach, and this is your tip of the week for the 21st of November. And this is a question I get all asked all the time as we go into the festive season or we get closer to the festive season, uh, sugar becomes more and more um, relevant in our diets on a day to day basis. So a question I get asked all the time is, is there any good sugar? Is there any sugar that I can eat that is OK for me? And my answer to that is, honestly, not really. There isn't because anything sweet in that you are consuming will cause a release of insulin. However, there are some sugars that are metabolized more easily by the body in terms of their source and where they come from. So raw honey, for example, because it's raw, it's not manufactured, it's not processed. And so it needs the body to spend a little time breaking it down, metabolizing it in order to access that carbohydrate for, the, for fuel. So it is a slower release of sugars into your bloodstream, which means you have a slower release of insulin. Um, of the um, the sweeteners that are out there, stevia is really the only good one because it is a natural uh, uh, sweetener and it is from um, the bark of a tree, of a particular tree. So it's a natural sweetener. It's not artificial. It's not going to cause any issues to your liver, but it will still cause the release of insulin. So it can still cause a bit of an upset in your um, blood sugar balance, but a, a small amount of it will allow your blood sugars to stay really stable. And actually just going back to honey, honey is really good for your immune system. So at this time of year, raw honey is a great addition to, if you wanted to make something slightly sweeter, uh, adding raw honey to it can really support your immune system as well. So you've got raw honey, you've got stevia, and then there are a few others like, uh, like maple syrup, coconut sugar, um, ones that, that, the body has to work a little bit harder to break down, do, do ensure that there is a slower release of insulin. However, you must remember that anything sweet that you are consuming will cause a release of insulin and it will cause your insulin levels to rise in the system. And when insulin is higher in the system than it should be, that can then have a cascade of effects in terms of how much more you're, how much more you're eating and how much more it takes to make you feel full, basically. So the key really is to go, actually, I want to reduce the amount of uh, sweetness in my diet, including even the, the kind of more naturally occurring sugars. I want to reduce the amount of sweetness in my diet so that I don't need to have so, to, so many sweet things in order to satisfy sweet cravings. Fruit is perfect for sugar cravings, but do make sure that you are having it with some form of protein so that in itself will slow the release of those sugars down as well. So there is no one sugar that you can go, yeah, that's the one you can have and you can have, you can fill your boots. It doesn't work like that. There are some sugars that are slightly better than others. Fruit sugars with, um, with protein in the form of raw fruit, um, raw honey, which is great for the immune system, stevia, which is a sweetener, which is an okay source because it's from bark. And then you've got like coconut sugar and things like that. Of that order, <laughs> if you need something sweet, start with the fruit and the protein, then you can have the, hun the raw honey and then you can go to the stevia and then maybe the coconut sugar. But anything that you really eat that's sweet will cause a release of insulin and that will have an impact on how much you eat for the rest of the day and how hungry you feel, just so that you are aware of that. So as we go into the festive season, if you do want sweeter foods, Maybe look for recipes that involve coconut sugar, for example, or involve raw honey if you're wanting to make some sweet treats. Hope you found that useful. I'll speak to you very soon. Take care and have a great rest of the day. Bye bye.